So Teacher Mlu, we've been getting a lot of questions about the NPTs. So I think the best way to answer them is just first explain to us what are the MPTs mm. and then we'll get into the individual questions that the students have asked. Okay. Yeah. So the MPTs are what we call the National Benchmark Test, right? Um, I can talk about the history of it, uh, but I won't delve much into it. Students don't really need to know <laughs> uh, that much. Ne? So what happens is that for specific courses and guys you need to do the homework yourself. I won't count which courses require NBTs. It's different for every university, right? Some universities would say, look, um, we want to know what is your level of competence in mathematics, right? Now, people think maths is about numbers. Mm -hmm. It's not about numbers. It's about methods. It's about being methodical, developing there are principles that we use in mathematics, right, uh, that we use to solve, uh, you know, mathematical questions. Now, the question is, um, do you know how to apply those principles? That's why the NBTs, you will actually write NBTs without a calculator. That's very important. Sure. So, which means that you need to know your mathematical skills. For instance, how do you add fractions, right? Uh, how do you work with ratios? Uh, how do you solve, uh, you know, specific uh, mathematical questions, right? So, what happens is that other uh, courses at, uni at specific universities require you to actually write NPTs, right, as a base assessment so, uh, for entry. So, it doesn't matter. Even if you come with, uh, you know, level sevens throughout, you know, uh, all your subjects. But if you haven't written an NPT exam, then they would not uh, qualify you uh, for entry into that particular course. So it's important for you to find out. And guys, I will say this again. That's why it's important, right? At grade 11 already, uh, I would even say at grade 10, for you to find out the specific course that you want to actually uh, qualify for, does it require you to write an NPT? And if it is, then you need to find out. Uh, by the way, we've got a course for NPTs that uh, we, we also offer, right? Okay. If it is that it requires for you to write an NPT, right? Then you need to know what is the content of NPTs, right? Um, there's a lot I can say. So you, there are two uh, exams that you complete for the NPT. Uh, there's the MAT exam, right? This is for those who want to study courses that have some mathematics, you know, into it. So that's the first one. It's compulsory, right, for those who want to go into courses such as engineering, such as medi uh, medicine, um, who want to go into medical school and other courses, right? So they would be required to complete what they call the MAT exam, right? And then there's also what we call AQL. This is the, uh, the quantitative uh, literacy as well as arithmetic literacy, right? So in this case, what that is for is just firstly, uh, basic level maths, application uh, uh, mathematics, right? Um, it's uh, arithmetic li literacy, literally as the word uh, describes it itself. We want to make sure that you can work with you know, exchange rates, you know, things that are, are used on a daily basis, but mm -hmm. that involve numbers, right? And then secondly, you've got uh, your, your, your um, quantitative literacy, right? Um, in this case, this has to do, in fact, qu quantitative literacy has to do with, uh, uh, you know, uh, mathematics, by the way. And then you've got uh, uh, also language proficiency. This is just to ensure that you are competent enough in using, um, you know, language, the English language. I think uh, most of us, you know, use English as a medium of instruction, right? You have to know uh, what happens in terms of your NBTs. But as I said, it's important for you to find out uh, whether it is something that you would require for the specific course that you want to qualify for. Sure. And then, so what happens if you don't do well in your, a in your NBTs? Well, uh, um, if you don't do well in the NBTs, it means that you won't be able to qualify, right? 
uh, uh, for the specific course. As I said, you can pull out seven level sevens uh, for that specific, uh, you know, and it qualifies you in terms of your APS score. Mm -hmm. But by virtue of not having an NBT or not having submitted an NBT result, uh, then you would not be able to gain entry. So it is important. Find out if the course requires NBT and please make sure that you submit your NBT results as early as possible. So in NPTs, are we writing them in grade 11 or do we write them in grade 12? You may write them in grade 11. Um, it is uh, allowed for you to write them in grade 11, uh, but um, more specifically, they are required uh, for grade 12, uh, grade 12. Now, let me just make an example. For people who are looking to apply for medicine, uh, medicine is actually uh, one of the uh, courses that actually uh, close quite early, you know, uh, for, 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 for if, if you want to apply for medicine, right? So what happens is that uh, I think they close in May. So if you haven't submitted your uh, NBT results by then, you know, chances are that uh, you might not be considered, right? Because by then they would have actually sealed the amount of people, uh, they would have reached their quota by then, mm. right? And I think that's why people always find it difficult. They say, no, I've been applying for medicine. They, the problem is that they leave it, they leave it to, uh, too late, you know? Mm. Uh, they submit their NPT results. Now, for, for me, if you're going to be studying medicine, what is really, really important is that I need to know that you're a kind of person that is disciplined. And that's why I think they, they, they put all of these uh, systems in place to know that the people that are applying, are they prepared? Are they, you know, did they do their homework, right? Did they find out what their entry requirements are? And so that is, uh, that is quite important. So to answer your question quite shortly, right? If you did not submit your NPT results, unfortunately, for that particular course, you may not qualify. Great information. Mm. <laughs>